Hello, and welcome to Zip Tide. I originally planned to have this thing running and driving and racing in five days, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So let's figure out together if I get that to happen. At the very least, I'll get it started. So let's get into it. Starting where I left off last time, the street signs I'm using for the floor can now get riveted on and allow for mounting of more components. The mower deck is a very critical piece to any actual lawnmower. If you missed earlier videos, I'm using an electric deck so I don't have to power the blades with the superbike motor. Although the mower has its own 12 volt electrical system on board, the motor requires a 40 volt battery so it gets its own battery mounted in the back. Finding a fuel tank that will rest nicely in the front of the mower, between the radiator, the steering rack, and the bodywork, and probably everything else in the garage, while also allowing for the factory fuel pump to sit inside, is a bit difficult. So all of this is to say, I made my own. I knew a regular box wouldn't fit in the gap, so I'll notch around everything that it touches. I cut out the fuel pump flange from the original fuel tank so I can weld it into the bottom of my very own tank. This allows me to use the factory fuel level sender and fuel pump without major modification. And then to finish it all off, I installed a fuel cell cap and a rollover vent. There is currently no real way to control this thing except a steering wheel that doesn't turn the wheels. And 
Truthfully, that might not ever change all that much, but in a rushed attempt, I made pedals from door hinges, and they had great feng shui, but they did lack the safe looking shui. So I've decided to go another direction, and for now, I moved the clutch to the shift handle, and I reused the original clutch lever, and I will come back to these pedals later, but the working clutch is a win. Since I'm reusing most of the original components, I can also reuse the original dash. This was as simple as welding two tabs and two pieces of half inch tube, and I get an awesome result that I absolutely love. While I'm on the electrical side of things, the ignition and starter button can also get installed. I just wish I could have reused the original key. A while ago, I made steering arms for the Banshee spindles. The factory ones wouldn't work because they were just too short and the tie rods would hit the frame, but also they were meant to steer very fast for off-road use. The only off-road I want to be doing is mowing lawns, so it, it had to change. Finally, for some cool points, I want the headlights to actually work on this. And I could simply just hook them back up, but where's the fun in that? So I bought a pair of LED projectors, also known as Pretty Cool. It may have caught fire a, a couple of times, but now it's just part of the charm. Okay, so everything is mostly hooked up and fuel system is primed now. It is so far holding gas in the tanks. So that's not leaking, that is, or that's a big thing. Ah, there's a lot of little things that have gone onto this now, but it is time to try and start it for the first time as this, an awesome looking, in the, in the mower. It's gonna be the first time it starts in the mower. So let's, let's give this a shot. It's not gonna run for long, there's no water in it. That's how I roll.
there's one more fun item left, and that's a surprise I've held back for a long while. Velocity stacks. All right, that's a lot of fun little projects done. The mower runs now if it's not puking oil out of the filter. And I, it, it's awesome. I'm loving this. this is very close. Uh, very few things need to be done to get it to drive, but there's still a lot to do still. So I'm thinking probably next episode on this, it will be driving and I will be scared. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you'd like, subscribe, comment because I like talking to people in the comments. I will see you next time.